Again, did not record any of this. I went ahead and I got the rest of the paint, which wasn't much because I've already messed up twice now. Got the rest of the paint, squeezed as much as I could, cut the bottle, put it in, and hey, it turned out pretty good. Okay, it's that time again. All right, so what's going on guys? My name's CG Build, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. It's not going to be my normal, like, keyboard build, mods, re switch review, anything like that. It's going to be more like the custom type. We're going to be doing some acrylic pouring. Now, I have it here in front of me, and it looks pretty good, if I do say so myself. Now, the whole reason why I'm even doing something like this is because, I mean, I want to do more custom things, and I have some things in the works, but I thought this would be a good beginner point it's not too hard well i say that but i had my issues with it first i want to go into exactly what this keyboard is and why i wanted to do something special with it so this is the tofu 65 v3 from kbd fans now this was my first expensive board i spent like 450 dollars 450 400 dollars on it and that's whenever i had like no money you know what i mean so it's like it was it was a big big turning point in my life i've done a lot of budget builds before then but i didn't do any actual expensive build yet so it means a lot to me you know what i mean this whole channel is based on custom keyboards and like this was like my first big one you know so i had this idea i wanted to do something with it like especially with maybe like the brass plates something well i was on youtube and i saw this one video about acrylic pouring and it was uh i know it's very popular but like i saw it on like an iphone case or something and i was like that would be insane but on a keyboard so i had the idea i was i was gonna do the whole keyboard so I was like, I, that seems like a lot of work. I don't know how you get the sides and like the front part. But anyways, I will do that if you like this video. I'll do a whole keyboard if that's something you're interested in. Go ahead and tell me down in the comments or like the video. So I decided to do my brass weight. Now on the Tofu 65, it does have a brass weight. It looks pretty nice. Undo it with screws and it's great. So now the only thing is to do is to acrylic pour. Now I thought this video was about to be the easiest thing I've ever done. Just get some acrylic paint which you can buy it already mixed which I did do and then pour it on there but that's not at all what happened I'll go over that in, in a minute but after getting this idea I had my girlfriend that knows a little bit about it because she has watched many many of these acrylic pour videos she went ahead and she helped me find we went to Hobby Lobby found the best paints and that's what we did it's already stirred up and everything it's just you just get it and you pour it in a cup got my cups Get, had the keyboard and bam, ready. And little did I know that I was not prepared for <laughs> for what was gonna be happening. My logo colors right now are black, white, and like a dark blue. But it used to be a like a teal color, which I have a logo like framed back there that it was at one point that teal color. But now it's blue, so I wanted to keep the teal color in it because I mean it's I mean it's like the logo. You feel me? It's like the old, new. Anyways, plus the keyboard's black. Looks cool. So I got my acrylic pour and I poured it in my cup. Now this didn't at all work as what I expected because clearly I didn't layer right. And once again, I had no idea what I was getting myself into. I just kind of did it. By, by this time my girlfriend is left. It's just me. I'm solo doing this. Not the best idea. By the way, this is my setup. It's outside and I'm underneath a tree. So I was really hoping nothing was gonna fall on it. And I knew this is gonna take a while to like dry. So uh, yeah, that, Mis mishap on my part. So here's me very upset because I don't know what to do because none of the color that I want is on there. There's no texture. It's just green. So what I do is I get it and I go throw it in the woods pretty much. Shake it off, get as much as I can, and then rinse it off with the water hose. Didn't record that because I was very upset. And then, yeah, just restarted. So here's me doing more pouring and uh, try to do it a second time. And it still was not good. Now, a side note, if you are going to be doing this and you get it, right, have it lay on something, like get something to put it down on so that it won't just be flat because then the whole thing just sticks to it, which hind, I, I don't know. I don't know what I was doing, dude. I was fully in the dark. Didn't look up any videos after the one I saw about the iPhone. So uh, don't ask me. Hopefully you, you can learn this. This is a good video, I think. <laughs> Dude. So after getting uh, the second one, it still didn't look good and I was very defeated and this is where I was like, this video sucks. I thought this was going to be an easy video, get it in and out, out the way, but it wasn't. And I was very upset and this video almost didn't happen. But then I picked it up and I was like, okay, it's like too thick on top. I didn't record any of this because once again, I thought I was not going to do this video and I was very upset. 
So I started like, I picked it up like this, and I started tilting it to get all the excess paint off. And it made a cool pattern, and it was actually like looking pretty good. But little did I know there's going to be a mix-up where something bad happens again. But, uh, we'll leave that for... Uh, a little bit later in the story. So I get my brass weight and I let it dry forever. I take it inside because it's been outside all day. Now it's nighttime. I'm gonna put it onto my sink, like next to it, just so it can dry. And uh, I didn't know my cat was gonna jump on it, but it's like, oh, it, my girlfriend. When I told her the news that my cat ruined it, she was like, oh, it's it's it might be cute because it's like a cat paw. No, dude. My cat's spastic. When it touched something, when it's wet, it just ran and it skirted the whole thing off. Like, it, it was just like, imagine this is the plate and just went, no, no more, no more acrylic paint. Why would that be the case? So the whole thing was ruined. I was very upset because now I'm having to clean the paw of the cat that made the mess. Plus, it's all on the ground. Plus, it was it, so upsetting. By the way, this is like 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm tired. I, I don't want to be doing this anymore. <laughs> So next, I decide, I once again, did not record any of this. I went ahead and I got the rest of the paint, which wasn't much because I've already messed up twice now. Got the rest of the paint, squeezed as much as I could, cut the bottle, put it in, and hey, it turned out pretty good. So I did the second thing and then I kind of did the same thing where I kind of poured it off. You know, did a little thing, you know, and it ran off and made a cool pattern. And I think it turned out pretty good. Besides this little scuff up here at the top. I don't know what happened there. I, I just don't think it got enough paint on it because I, I don't know. I, no one else touched it because I literally put it in my shower. My shower is now stained, by the way. But I think it turned out pretty good. I mean, this whole thing was just supposed to be like a showpiece. Like, it's going to be sitting right here. And it's going to be in the background of my videos. My logo colors looks pretty cool, in my opinion. And the whole, vi the whole purpose for me doing this video is because I wanted to really see what y'all input is. Like, if y'all have some, some more ideas of things that you want to do, but you want to meet it first then here I'll do it you know but I think this just it's more custom you know what I mean because this whole thing is custom keyboards and custom community I want I want this to be kind of like it, just unlock your potential you know what I mean like I didn't think I was gonna do this but here here I am now I have a lot of things in the works a lot of more way more custom things in the works but I at the moment I thought this was a good beginner step I think this thing turned out great I think for not having any practice, not doing, not knowing anything, and my girlfriend leaving me in the dust. That did turned out pretty good. I'm very happy with it. It's not the best. And, by the way, uh, here's this little coating thing. I didn't do it yet because it is very humid here. And on here it says to uh, make sure it's not humid. I live in Texas, so it's humid all the time. And it's the middle of summer, so even at night it's unbearable. So I just decided not to. Plus, I'm not going to touch it that much. I'll do it eventually, just not right now. But, hey. I think it turned out pretty good. So you have like the main white, which I think, like if you look at the CG on my logo, it's white. The black for the case is already black, so I should probably use the black instead of the green maybe. But uh, the black and then the dark blue, which is the build on my thing, looks pretty good. I and then the like the teal color is like my old logo, and it's kind of just thrown in there. It looks pretty cool. I I do like it. I think it looks really sick. Plus you see the KBD fans in there really well. It looks pretty good. I didn't expect that to show up through it, but I mean, it looks really cool. Now, hopefully you learned from me and if you want to do this, I think it'll be really cool if you did like a whole, like the whole back and like sides of a keyboard. I think that would be really cool. I might do that in the future. Maybe if you like it enough and you show me that you like it, because this is a lot of headache. I didn't record a lot and I'm sorry, but hey, it turned out pretty good. Uh, if you have any other ideas that you want me to do, I'm so down. Let me know, dude, even if it's stupid. But yeah, I don't know how long this video is going to be, and I don't know if it's going to be a good one. <laughs> uh, that is the end of the video. Hopefully you did enjoy, and I had a great time doing this. It was it was some fun, even though there was a little bit of headache. But yeah, that is the end of the video, and I hope, hope you enjoyed. Dude, am I just spastic? Why can I not speak? Okay, that's it. Uh, I'll see you in the next one.